Hello everyone, this video is about used reducer hook. So first of all, we will come what is used redu use reducer hook. So used reducer hook is used to manage state in our React application. In other words, we can see that used reducer ho hook works like state management tool. And now let's see what is state management. State management is used to manage all states of application in a simple way. And uh, this use reducer hook we use whenever we need to manage a lot of states and methods. So for that uh, um, case we are using use reducer hook. So now let's uh, um, just uh, explain it in an example. So I have already created an example. This is an example we have increase and decrease buttons. So whenever we press this it will increase and it will decrease back. So I used use state hook for this. Now let's perform it with using use reducer hook. So let's first of all remove this. After that let's change it to use reducer hook. And now let's declare it. Use reducer. So use reducer has two arguments. The first one is the reducer. We will explain it later. And the second one is the uh, state okay the initial value the initial the default value that we will assign to it so for the default value let's create um, as a, another variable const initial state for example is equal to so we will just create a, it as an object and we will assign it account the default value is zero so now we will assign this initial state here this is our initial value or default value that we will use it is an object with count variable so this is the reducer as returned. So now let's distract it. To distract it, let's write const. We will use uh, array distraction for it. So the first one is the that it will use reducer will return. That is the current state that we have. The second one is the dispatch. For example, we will name it dispatch. This name depend on you, but I will uh, name it dispatch. These are most common names for it. So this dispatch is used to update our state. So now let's create this reducer. What is the reducer? So to create reducer, let's const reducer is equal to. So this reducer has two parameters. The first one is the current state that we have state. The second one is the action that we would like to perform. What we want, for example, increase, decrease, what we want to perform. These are the two. But, uh, but for uh, now, we will just return the um, current state. So to return it, let's write return statement. Then we will just write an object. So we will update the count. So let's increase it. Okay. So to increase it, we will write state at count plus one. So it will increase it. Now let's call it. Okay. How to call it? So for calling, for updating this state, we will use this dispatch. Whenever we press this increase button, it will call this. So here I will just call dispatch. Let's move to the Chrome. Uh, we paste with an error. So let's check it. Where is the error count? We should write state that count. Let's save it. Yeah, right now we have it. Let's press the increase button. See, we are increasing. We are able to increase it. For example, so now we want to handle different actions, for example, increase, decrease and others. So for that, let's pass here. Yeah, in this increase, we will just pass to this dispatch an object with type is equal to, for example, increase. Whenever we pass it, let's now handle it in the reducer function. So just come here to the reducer. Uh, let's console it once, console.log and action. We will just print the action. What we get in this action whenever we pass this type to that. So let's move to the console. So let's press uh, F12 and we will move to the console. Here let's press all refresh it. And now let's press increase what we get. See we got this uh, type increase in action. So now we will handle it. So to handle it for that we can use if else and also um, switch uh, and others. I will use switch statement for that to handle it. Switch. Let's use switch and we will pass here action dot type. Now let's perform. If uh, um, the type was equal to with the case. A 
increase so then we will perform uh, to increase the value we will just return the count state dot count plus one if that was uh, um, decreased then we will decrease that and by default let's return the state and let's also perform the decrement in this uh, dispatch uh, in this decrease method let's call this let's dispatch it and we will just type would be decrease so now let's check it okay what we get in the result let's remove it refresh it let's press increase we are incrementing the value we are decreasing back the value see it has done using user reducer hook so it was all about user reducer hook so it was the syntax of user reducer hook that we have used so we can uh, just manage complex state using user reducer hook so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching